Hi, in this video I'll show you how to calculate differences in a pivot table. So let's say, we, for example, we have this list of uh, car selling data. Maybe this is a car dealership and they've sold cars and we've got dates from the year 2017 and 2018 and they want to see how many cars were sold uh, between uh, with the different colors or the different cars between on the different months January 2017 versus January 2018. And you can do that with a pivot table. Turn this into a pivot table first. We have our range of data here. This is a thousand records here. Go to insert, pivot table, and we're going to put the table into the existing worksheet here in cell F1. Click OK. And all I need to do is move uh, the date here. And you can see as I move date here, it has made some groupings, quarters and years. This is something that uh, sometimes by default Excel does, and you can have it uh, not do it if you don't want it to do it, or if you didn't have it do it, let's pretend that it did not group. So everything's ungrouped. If we just move date into here, you could probably see we've got all our dates here. All we need to do is right click, go to group, let's group by month and by year. Press the control key and click year, click OK and we've got our groupings there. Uh, previously, we had the quarter. We didn't need quarter. But I've got that there. I'm going to move the car color over here. doesn't matter if it's car color or car make. And we are going to move the years over here because we want to look at the years between 2017 and 2018. I have my grand totals there. I might not need that, but all we need to do is bring in another count of color Actually, let me get rid of the grand total. Go under design and grand totals off for rows and columns. All I want to do is make it see a difference between those two. I bring in the color again, and now it's got two of them. And it, you can see that the years 2017 here, 2017 count of color. I need to change this one or the second one I brought in. I want to make that value food settings go under there, and I want to show values as a difference. So, click Show Values of Difference. We want to do a difference from, and our base field is going to be the year. So we want to see a difference from 2017 to 2018. So we'll look at years, and we want to look at the previous years, because we want to look at 2018 versus 2017. Click OK, and now you'll have those differences. A good thing to do is also change the header or the text here. I'll call this one uh, Difference, D-I-F-F. -F. Click OK. We have diff there, count of color, or we can just call this count or car count. Value so field settings, and we'll call those car counts. Click OK. And we can hide this column. Right click, hide, and now we have our differences. See the first between January 2017 and January 2018, there was a zero difference. For February, 2017, 2018, there's a difference of three. An increase of three, we have net decreases, or we have decreases here between April and uh, 2017 and 2018. So that's the way that you can count differences with pivot tables. It's a good tool to do some analysis if you wanted to make comparisons of your counts between one period versus another. So that's the way that we can calculate differences using a pivot table, year-to-year -year differences here. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.